Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. I hope everybody is okay tonight. Did you have dinner already? Did you have dinner yet? <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> no? All right. What time do you eat dinner? I eat dinner at seven. All right. So early. That's yeah. early for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, great, Jose Alexander. Enjoy. <clears throat> Enjoy. You're having dinner right now. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Okay, here we go. We are going to start a class tonight. Remember that we have some questions that we want to uh, recall because it's uh, a process, right? They are part of a process that maybe one day we're going to have to um, to abort, right? Because we are usually, or we are always trying to improve our sale, improve our incomes, and maybe we are looking for something better. And maybe we are going to have this experience, right? We have maybe we would have to uh, leave the experience of a job interview, okay? And also we can assess someone in the process too, right? Because now we are learning something else, right? We are learning something about the interviews, job inter inter interviews or interviews, okay? Let me to see if we have people in the waiting room, okay? That's part of the configuration. I, I have, well, before in Zoom, there was this option where you could um, program to um, disable the waiting room. But I couldn't find it since we started this course. Oh, uh, we are still with these, right? With the waiting room. But I did it already from this, uh, I mean, from the meeting. I did it already. Okay. Yeah, I disabled the waiting room. Hi, good evening, welcome. Okay. So we were talking about 
this situations in the time that we are looking for a job or we are looking for a promotion, right? Have you ever had a promotion in the company that you maybe you started your job in a different position, job position, and then you could apply to get another one? Uh, did, have you ever had that experience? Is there anyone here who has um, applied for a, another job position in the company that you work for? Yes, teacher. Can you tell us about that process? What you did? Mm, mm, what were the qualifications they were asking for or they were looking for in a candidate? Sí, solo que en español. <laughs> try, try in English. We are going to do it. Remember, um, the possibility could and would, right? You can use them to explain that. Um, how do you say concurso interno? The contest, in a contest. Uh -huh. Content. Or internal contest. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have an internal content for uh, work as um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 financial technician. Oh, okay. Was that in the accounting department? ¿Cómo? What, I mean, was this job position in the accounting department? Before I, 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 I was in the accounting department. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. And now I am in the financial department. We have different. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And what were the requirements? I mean, the qualifications they were looking for. And for example, to speak a little English, and that use uh, spreadsheets. And for example, um, have knowledge about legal legal information and about projects okay more projects mm -hmm. mercantile yeah yes like mercantile financial legal a uh, codes right okay interesting interesting Okay, and did you get the position then? Yes. Oh, great, great. That's very good news. <laughs> yeah, that's very good news. And um, how long have you been working in the new job position? Um, um, a year. A year, okay. Okay. A year exactly or about a year? I start in this new job in January. Okay. 2022. All right, last January. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, it's not last because uh, we are in February, right? Okay, yeah, you're right. So wow. you, uh -huh, uh, you turn into one year, right? You had one year last January. All right, very good. That's very interesting. Okay, people. Um, now we are going to continue. Remember that the questions are really important when we want to communicate. Because if you want to know any information, any information, what is um, the way to ask for or to request those pieces of, of information. You have to ask questions. Those are requests, right? Those are questions, 
Remember, direct questions like confirming information that maybe you already know or you have any idea about the thing that you are asking, but that's a direct question, right? Remember, yes, no questions, WH questions, and also just confirming, right? Um, maybe um, we are going to use different tenses, okay? We need to use different tenses. So imagine we don't always use the present tense. We need the simple past. We need the present perfect. We need to ask things in the future, right? So we need to practice the tenses. And remember that the tenses are given by the verbs because those are actions. Okay, I sent a list of verbs. Okay, I sent a list of verbs. If you could um, download it, it's okay. If you couldn't, maybe you can um, check it out online and it is okay too. And if you had a verb list of your own, that's good too, you can use it, all right? Allow me to introduce the class for today, okay? Today we have a new topic. Our new topic is filling in a job application form, okay? And uh, we want to talk about the work experiences or the work experience you have and remember that when we talk about our experience, it means past, right? So we are going to practice some verbs, but allow me to introduce the top, okay? There we go. Teacher. Tell me. What is the meaning of handy dandy? <laughs> Yay. Do you remember blue, Blue's Clues? Yes. <laughs> okay, do you remember that they say, and we need our handy dandy notebook, uh -huh. right? Okay, handy dandy means like super duper, like our practical notebook, right? Day. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm well connected here. I, I'm, I'm really plugged, okay? Today. Okay. Hey, yeah. Am I? But I have good signal right now. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay. Hey. Okay, let's. Thank you very much, Miss Maricela. Okay. Take care of your audio. Watch out. Sometimes we could say things that we don't want everybody here okay uh yeah mostly when we want to give love and receive love right mm, yeah those are private things <laughs> okay here we go i was on the way of showing you this right so here we go So that's handy dandy, okay? That's handy dandy. Handy dandy is like a an expression, and it's very used uh, useful when you want to talk to um, well known people, yeah, close people, yeah, from your from your circle, yeah, from your circle. It's a funny expression. Okay, then our topic for tonight is filling in a job application. All right filling in a job application. So I will show, I will show some verbs. Please, in silence, just read, okay, just read the verb and try to remember the verbs that you are seeing, okay? This is just an exercise, okay? Because I want to call the role. Then I will show you some verbs over here. You are about 25 students in this class. There are 25 students in this class. So I will show you some verbs. 
in silence. Just look at them, read them, and try to remember, okay? I will tell you after I show the verbs, I will tell, I, I will tell, tell you what we are going to use them for, okay? Just reading and trying to remember, okay? There we go. Here is the first one. All right, these um, were about 30 verbs, okay? Uh, was there any verb that you didn't know the meaning? Did you find any that you didn't know the meaning? No? Okay, then I will tell you what we're going to do. Okay, when I call your name, instead of saying present, you are going to say one of the verbs I showed you, okay? Instead of saying present, you are going to say one verb of those that you saw, okay? But this is the trick. You have to say present and simple past, all right? Got it? Yes? Okay, then. Let's start then. Please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you say one of the verbs I showed you. But you are going to say the verb in the simple present form and in the simple past form. All right? Got it. Is there any question about what we're going to do? No questions. All right. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Okay, Carlos Vladimir, you have to say one of the verbs. Okay. Attend. Attend. All right. And the simple past form. Casi no, casi no se le escucha. A veces pierde el audio. Really? Seriously? Yes. Maybe now? Okay. Yo casi no le escucho. El recortado. ¿Y todos los demás también estamos en la misma situación? No, no. Es Carlos el no que te mala señal. Oh, ok. <ríe> Uf. Es que sí que me he pasado. Miren qué lindo mis nuevos he mis nuevos headsets. <ríe> Finalmente hubo uno que automáticamente corrió. Así que gracias a Dios. I am sorry, Carlos. Okay, I will, I will uh, check you in, okay? Bien, lo vamos a chequear siempre, ¿verdad? Okay, Cecilia, Jasmine, Menjibar, Soto. No, Cecilia. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Make, made. 
Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Present, create, created. Great. Daisy Elizabeth Racinos Álvarez. Miss Daisy. Daisy, no Daisy. All right. Eduardo Franco Núñez. No, Eduardo, yet. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Sell. Sell. Sold. Great. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present, teacher. Okay, Imelda, you have to say a verb in the simple present and in the past. All right. Well, I'm sorry for those who couldn't participate in this, okay? Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Present. Simple present, simple past. Present. Okay. Tiene que decir un verbo en tiempo presente y, y ese mismo verbo, ¿cuál es el pasado? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, did you... De los que le mostré al principio. Any verb? No. A ver, a ver, a ver. Hay que exprimir el cerebro. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Squeeze your brain. No, teacher, sorry. All right, all right. Un verbo es una acción. So you can say speak, say, uh, talk. Those are almost the same thing, all right? And the past tense, right? Spoke, right? Okay, Jose Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. What about your verb? Implement and implemented. Implemented, yes. There you go. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Do, did. Great. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Uh, me teacher. Do, uh -huh. did. Oh, it was <laughs> you? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I thought it was Jose Alexander. Jose Alexander said another one? Or oh, he, he wasn't in? Ya pasé. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's look at Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Mr. Ochoa, are you in yet? All right. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Miss Karen. Not yet. Luis Javier Castillo. Read, read it. I don't remember the verbs, the, the show verbs. Uh, right. <laughs> no, mostró, no, no lo vi, lo siento. Uh, no, pero ese estaba, ese estaba ahí mostrado. Ah, estaba. Oh, okay. Yes. Read in the past tense. Lo único que cambia en el past tense en ese sería la pronunciation. Read and read. yes, read, read. Thank you for the help, guys. Um, read, read. Okay. Marianne Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. I think she was going to join as a listener, right? Marina Jansi Sandoval Bonilla. Where's the teacher? Okay. Estoy viendo por ahí levantada oh, la mano Maya. de ese... Uh, Ajá. Eh, Marina Jansi. Your verb. Marina Jansi, su verbo. Okay. 
Vamos no, a ver. Tico, soy Marian, pero ya casi yo a la casa. Ah, ok. Dígame un verbo, pues, ahorita. Pero lo que voy de camino, Ticha. Lo siento. Ok, wow. Daisy, veo que tiene levantada la mano. I see good you. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. Pleasure. My verb dance. 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 All right. Dance. Good. Good. That's a very good verb. So everybody dancing now. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. My favorite. My favorite. <laughs> Hobie? Okay. <laughs> Hobie, yeah, it's okay. Uh, free you. time activity. Yeah, free time activity. Great. Okay, thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Study. Study. Very good. Very good. Uh, Nelly Lilibet Andrade Garcia. <laughs> Forget, forgot. All right, good. Norma Patricia, viuda de Arre. Miss Norma. One verb, Miss Norma. All right. I you sent a. Uh, a message, right? To see, because I have Marian, I have, it was, oh, Norma Patricia. All right. All right. No problem. She's just a listener right now. She's at work. Okay. And Oscar Noya Mahaña Martinez. Hi, teacher. Uh, my bear, drink, and drunk. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the other one sounds not so good, right? <laughs> drink, drunk, drunk. Okay, good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pablo Alberto Abrego Vasquez. Present teacher. Good. Uh, uh -huh. Your how, verb. How? How? Good. Uh, Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher, uh, work, worker. Very good. An explosive ending. Worked. There work. you go. Mm -hmm. Worked. Uh, Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltran. Go, went. Good. Wendy Marisela Ramirez Guevara. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Hello. Ms. Wendy, you have to say Resident a verb. Teacher. You have to say a verb. A smile. Uh -huh. a smile. And the past tense? Verb, a smile. Um, pressing. Smiled, all right? Smile. Yeah. Okay, guys. Is there anyone that I didn't mention? Or are we okay? I hope everybody's checked in. Okay, now, we were saying that we don't express only in one tense. We express any action uh, that could happen in the past, in the present, or in the future, right? And there are some verb uh, tenses that they are compound and they need auxiliaries. For example, the present uh, perfect, the present perfect, you need the verb have, okay? And you need the past participle form. So it means if you go to your verb list, you will find three columns, okay? You will find three columns. The first one is the simple present. The second one is the simple past. And the third one is the past participle, okay? So now we are going to check the verbs again. And I flush the, uh, the verb and everybody as a whole class, as a team, you are going to say immediately 
the second and the third form. All right, let's start. You got it? They are 30 verbs, okay? And we are going to try to uh, remember if it is regular or if it is irregular, okay? So allow me to share this thing for you. And here it is. So the first verb, is it regular or irregular? Regular. 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 And what is the past tense, the second form? Managed. Managed. Okay. And the third form? Managed. Okay. Vamos a hacerlo entonces así. Miren. Manage, managed, and managed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Vamos a decirlos así. All right. Manage, managed, managed. Okay. Vamos mm -hmm. a la siguiente. Okay. Fed, uh huh. And the third form? Said. Said, okay. Say, said, said. Así lo vamos a decir, okay? La primera era manage, managed, managed. Then, say, said, said. Okay. Next one. Coordinate. Coordinate. Very good. Coordinated. All right. Sell. 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 Sold. 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 No. No. No, no, no. Uh huh. Sold. Sold, sold. Yes. Sold, sold. All right. Mm -hmm. Attend. Attended. Attended. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Attended, attended, yes. Give, gave. Giving. Giving. Giving, yes, correct. Next one. Setting. Send, send. Send, setting. Send, send, send. send. Okay? Send, 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 send. send. Uh -huh. Setting. Setting. Remember that the change is with the letter D at the end in the past tense and on the past participle, okay? Uh, will be sent, sent, sent. Let's look at this one. Mm -hmm. Regular or irregular? Spend, spend. Regular. Spend. It's not regular, okay? Uh-huh. Spend, 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 all right? Spend, spend, spend. A ver, ¿cómo sería este? Spent. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Spent. Ok, acostumbrémonos para que se nos vaya quedando, ok? Esta es como una estrategia que les puede servir para que se memoricen ustedes los verbos. Miren, no existe una fórmula mágica. Lamento decirles, ¿verdad? Que no existe una fórmula mágica para decir, ah, estos son regulares y estos son irregulares. Cuando esto, cuando el otro. No. Solo hay que memorize and use them. Practice them. That's the only formula, okay? That's the only magic formula. Practice, practice, practice. Okay? Entonces, la estrategia es decir las tres formas, okay? Spend, 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 okay? Vamos a la siguiente. Go, go, went, gone. Yes, go, went, gone. Vale. Ustedes van usando también la, la listita, ¿verdad? Que les mandé por ahí. O si tienen una a la mano, también. Ahorita se vale copiar. ¿Qué? Okay, vamos. Uh -huh. Have, 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 have. Yes, have, had, had. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next one. Do, did, done. Very good. Make, made. Made. Have. Supervised, supervised, supervised. Great. Supervised. 
Eh, ese there. es una explosiva. Supervised. Okay. Uh -huh. And this one? Learn. 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 All right. We can learn. say learn, learn, learn and learn. 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 Yes. Remember that with this verb, there is a situation. Okay. Learner. American English learned. Okay. And British is like this. Learned. Okay. Mm, whichever is okay, but the most accepted is this mm -hmm. one now. Okay. Learned. So learn, learn, learn. Uh, next one. Speak, speak, speak spoke, 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 spoken. 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 Great. Uh -huh. This one. Was where? Was square. Okay. B. Amizar. Was where? And the past participle? Being. Yeah. Been. Mm -hmm. Ah, con este, con been. Oh. Okay. Eh, en la pronunciación, vemos que el past participle es, está escrito con dos e, ¿verdad? Obviamente, cuando hay dos e juntas, solo pronunciamos eh, la primera, que es e, right? Como un sonido largo de la letra e. Entonces, lo correcto, o sea, o, o lo grama, no, eh, como una regla de fonética, debiera ser que dijéramos pin, ¿verdad? Pin, pero no se dice pin, se dice pin, ¿ok? Como que aquí fuera otra escritura, ¿ok? Esta otra pronunciación es la que corresponde a esta, ¿ok? Siempre tengamos eso en mente. Cuando lo escuchemos, por ejemplo, dijo el pasado participio o está hablando otra cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, para tener en cuenta eso. All right, continue, guys. Call, call, call. Very good. Call, call, call. Yeah, there you go. Right. Replied, replied. Very good. Assist, assisted, assisted. Very good, Mr. Bernardo. Yeah. Help. Help. Mm -hmm. Help. 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 Yeah, like if it were a T, right? Uh, like helped. Yeah, helped. Help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Helps. 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 This one? Request. 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 Okay. Request. Requested. Podría ser. Okay. And requested. Okay. There you go. Study. 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 Very good. Count. 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 Mm -hmm. Simple past and past participle. Count. 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 Okay. Uh, it, it could be as uh, that pronunciation that counted or counted all right counted. it can sound too counted or counted, counted. is okay mm -hmm. you can pronounce this letter t as a soft sound or a strong sound mm, it doesn't matter right but you have to stick to one all right you have to stick to one of the pronunciations uh to avoid confusing right to avoid confusing all right here we go Work, work, work. That's correct. Read, 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 yeah, read, read, read. Wanted, 
Want want it. Want, 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 wanted and wanted. All right. One wanted, wanted. One wanted, wanted. Right. Yes. Create, creative, creative. Good. Hmm? Hmm? Is it regular or irregular? Regular. Regular, Implement. okay. Implement, implement it, implement it. Great. All right, people. Now that we refreshed all these forms of the verbs, okay, we are going to see filling in a job application. Why do we have to study the verbs in the simple past or in the past participle form? Uh, because when we go to an interview, we, we are always talking about past experiences. And some of those experiences remain to the present, okay? So for example, maybe you are still studying your career in university and you wanna talk about that, then you are going to use the past participle in the present perfect, all right? So filling in a job application, it's really important for us, even though we can uh, apply all this knowledge to other kind of applications, right? Or other, or other kind of, forms, maybe mm, in the bank, I don't know, when you go to Sertracen, then you are going to see farms, right? Or maybe you go to another governmental office, then you have to fill in a form. So you have to know what you're asking for, what information they are requesting for, okay? Imagine that you don't know what you're asking, okay? because you don't understand the question. Mm, that's really important for us to know what they are asking for, okay? So at the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer questions providing specific personal information and information related to work experience. What is the objective of this class? Ask and answer questions, okay? About what? Ah, personal information and work experience data, okay? Our class agenda. We did kind of a feedback because we caught about the can, can't, would be, could be, yeah. And then uh, we talk about the simple past, and verbs, right? And now we are going to request and provide specific information. So let's see, let's see what is the information that they uh, usually request in a job interview or in a forum in the jobs. All right, then we are going to the breakout rooms because you are going to role play like an interview, a job interview. And then we have some written exercises, even though we're going to just explain some things. And the session one-on-one -on -one for today in this video conference number four is for Dario Antonio, okay? Dario Antonio, today is your turn uh, to stay the 10 more minutes, 10 extra minutes. For... Okay, teacher. Okay, great. So let's start then. What questions can we use or can they use to request the personal information. Okay, so let's look at the questions. When and where were you born, okay? When or where were you born? This is the kind of question that we always answer with a complete date, all right? With a complete date. For example, we could say, I was born in, San Salvador, right? Um, 
on January the 30th, okay, of 1977, right? Long form. Even though we can use a short form, but there are boxes that we fill in, okay? There are boxes that we fill in. So we're going to see how to answer this. But now let's look at the questions, all right? What is your street address? What is your street address? Maybe you're going to say, where do you live, okay? Instead of asking for the exact address in the interview. But in the job application, they need your street address because it's a contact address. Maybe they are going to mail things, okay? Maybe they're going to mail some other documents to your address, to your house, okay? To your residence. Okay, then what is your street address? Have this in mind. Then what is your email address? What is your email address? Then we have what's your social security number? And then we have these two questions, okay? Are they personal or aren't they personal? Are they personal information? What do you think? These questions, are they requesting for personal information? Yes. Personal? Yes, it is. All right, I think those are not personal. Maybe those are professional information, all right? So we have to dif differentiate what is our personal information and what is professional information, okay? I think to talk about our studies and our educational preparation in life, it's professional information, all right? So we are not going to use these two questions in the personal information, but over here, okay? In the professional information. There you go, got it? Everybody, do you follow? All right. Can you hear me? Yes, miss. Yeah, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I can't hear you guys. I don't know the name of this thing. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. teacher. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. There are other computers working over here. That is why the change of devices. Okay. Now, let's continue with this, okay? Our professional information. This is really important for us to consignate this and to provide with um, honest, honest uh, information, okay? We have to be honest. Can you hear me now? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, teacher. All right. It's popping up a message that it is changing to another uh, device. All right. It says headphones. Yeah. Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, the professional for information too. 
Yes. Yes, okay. professional okay. information, right? Because personal information is the part, I mean, the demographic information that they need, right? Even though it's not legal in some states or in some countries that they ask you about your gender, about uh, your religion, your mm, a political a, a polit political preferences, okay? That's not legal to answer or to request that information for that information, okay? And if you find that they are requesting that information, then you can say, I'm not going to answer that, all right? <laughs> because uh, sometimes this is kind of um, controversial, okay? Controversial, and it is not legal in some countries. Actually, in our country, we still ask for gender, like female and male, right? We ask, for example, depending on the place that you are going to work, if your religion is, what's your religion, okay? And in our country, I don't know, by the a labor code, if, there is a prohibition. I, I really don't know, okay? I'm not informed, well informed. I'm not aware about that. I will investigate that. That's a really um, interesting point. All right, so now with the professional information, we have to talk about what diploma, what university we went to, um, if we have had similar jobs, okay? And also what, or describe the job that you did before, okay? And also in the interview, they say, what do you now, or what's your current work? Okay, then let's read the questions, okay? Let's read the question and I will separate these questions into two, okay? When, where, okay? I will do this. Let's read it. Aha. Okay, please, Tatiana, read number one of personal information. The second is what? I'm sorry? What, the second? Oh, I'm sorry. It's when. Thank you. There you go. <clears throat> That's the date. Mm -hmm. This is the place and this is the date of birth. Okay. This is the place and this is the date of birth. All right. Tatiana, can you read number one and personal information questions? All right, I think that is not available. Um, allow me to do this. Okay. No, I can't see here who is available and who isn't. All right. Let's say. Sandra Leticia, please read the first question in personal information. No, teacher, lo siento mucho, no? <laughs> No, just read, solo leer. This one. Um, si ¿sí estoy compartiendo la pantalla, se mira la pantalla, me escuchan? ¿Sí? Yes, of course. Okay. Yes, oh, okay, entonces Sandra, solo tiene que leerme la primera pregunta. Only read the first question. Este. Is 
Sandra, leamos las juntas. Where were you born? Where were you born? Yes. Where were you born? Born. Okay. Where were you born? Sí se traba la lengua porque hay que enrollarla. Mire, todas uh -huh. aparecen, where, ¿verdad? Where, where were you born? Where you born? <laughs> hay que enrollar la lengua. So roll your tongue. Where were you born? Where were you born? Ah, ahí estamos born. preguntando en dónde nació. Okay? The place of birth. Okay? El lugar de nacimiento, ¿verdad? The origin. Okay? Vamos a ver. Number two, please, Claudia María. When were you born? Great. Number three, please, Karen Granados. Mr. Pablo, are you there? Number three, can you read it, please? When you read other. Very good. Number four, please, Luis Javier. What? What's your social security number? Okay, that's number five. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela, please read number four. What is your email address? Very good. Thank you. Now, let's talk about the professional information question. Let's read them. Okay, let's read these questions. So let's see who wants to participate right here. Okay, we'll see Jose Alexander. Could you please read number one? Okay, do you have a university diploma? Great. Do you have a, a university diploma? I, uh -huh. Yeah, you can say it like diploma and it sounds good, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Nelly, please. Hey, uh, could you please read number two? Where did you study? What Great. did you study? When did you study? Great. Number three, please, Stacy. Miss Stacy? Uh, number... number three, please. This one. Have you do have you uh-huh have have you held similar jobs? All right, thank you very much. Number four, please. Um, I can't see people here because you have your cameras off. That's a limitant for me, okay? That's limiting uh, the participation of you guys. Oscar Noé, please. Number four. There are two questions there. What, where was your last job? Very good. These are two questions. What was your last job and where was your last job? Okay. There you go. Thank you. Number five. Um, let's see, Pablo, Pablo and Alberto. Yes, uh, number five. What did you do there? Mm -hmm. Very good. And number six, please. Um, Marina Jansi. I think she's walking, right? Mm. Okay, maybe she's on her way to the exit. All right, uh, Claudia Maria, please, read number six. Uh, 
What do you do now? Thank you very much. Is there any questions so far about any of these questions on the screen? Do you understand all of them? Yes, miss. All right. All clear. All right. So now let's go and see how this work, okay? How this work, what information we are going to um, answer in the job application. Also, at the time of the interview, you have to be aware what you wrote and the job application, right? Because you have to answer or you have to give explanations about the information that you wrote in the job application. All right, now let's go to our manuals and our manuals on page number 15. Page number 15, it says the first question, have you applied for a job position recently? Have you applied for a job position recently? And uh, we had a classmate of yours who said that he had applied, okay, for the financial department. Now, is there anyone here who has applied to any new job position? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Okay. Is there any opening available in your companies that you would like to apply? No. Would you like to apply to another company to, um, to have a better work or a better job? Not yet. Not recently. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. But let's look then what information we usually have to provide, okay? And let's see, because there is specific information, okay, about our work experience and also about our personal information. So let's read the conversation because this is like a segment of an interview or something like that, right? Because this is between an HR representative and a new employee. Maybe she is a candidate or maybe he is just confirming the information that he has in the bank data, okay? So let's look at Alan and Blanca's conversation and check out the questions, okay? It's important to know how to ask a question and then check out how to answer each question, all right? And it says, what is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born July first. Where do you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From two thousand five to two thousand eleven. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, let's read it again and let's do it slower, okay? It says, what is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, Four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where do you work? 
I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. All right. Is there any questions so far about the vocabulary in this conversation? Teacher, um, yes, I do. I have hypertension. Hyper, hypertension. Hypertension. Yes, hyper. Mm -hmm. hyper. Like hyper lover. Yeah, like hyper. Uh, <laughs> have you ever heard? <laughs> oh, yo estoy bien hyper ahorita. Something like that. Hypertension. Mm -hmm. Hypertension. All right. You can call it also blood, blood hypertension, right? All right, people, is there any other question? No? Okay, if, then. Uh, okay, tell me. Evening manager. Mm -hmm. uh, the, mm. the bus during the evening shift. Uh-huh. So it means maybe she was in the late shift, the third shift, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Es como, All right. el, como el turno de la noche. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it's not the whole night, but maybe it uh, finishes by 11 or by 10, right? So that's the evening. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay then, guys, now we want to listen to you roll, I mean, playing this conversation like that, right? You want to role play, right? Okay, let's listen to, Mauricio is going to be Alan, and Nelly Lilibet is going to be Blanca, okay? Okay. okay. Y esta Ana que está aquí abajo, no le hagan caso porque ella no estaba en la conversación, ¿ok? okay. Era blanca, ¿ok? Ok. Mm -hmm. What is your social security number? It's 3456-3245-786-54. Whenever you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I work in Mosa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic and medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Thank Very you. good. Right. <laughs> yeah, hired. There <laughs> you go. <laughs> good. Yes, guy, you did really, really a good job. So now we want to listen to Emerson. It's going to be Alan. And let's look. Claudia Maria will play Blanc. All right. Okay. What's your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university 
diploma? Yes, I do. I have a VBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. All right. Very okay. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Now that you have already played this um, conversation, is there any questions so far? No questions? No, miss. No, miss. All right. So now let's read these two questions. Okay. And let's discuss. Okay. What kind of ed education does Blanca have? What other type of job could Blanca have in the company? Okay. Based on what she did before. Okay. Based on her work experience we could answer these questions, all right? So let's go to the breakout room and let's discuss these two questions based on the conversation, okay? Tengo a varios oyentes, ¿verdad? A ver si me ayudan a recordarlo. Era Marian. Marian ya llegó o todavía seguimos en el trabajo? Uh, vamos a ver. Um, Norma Patricia también estaba de oyente. El día de hoy estaba en el trabajo escuchando nada más. Oscar. Oscar. Son tres, ¿verdad? No, okay. Oscar Noé. Ah, Oscar Noé también estaba de oyente. Entonces solo tengo tres, ¿verdad? Ah, eh, by the way, uh, when you send a message through the WhatsApp group, please say your name because usually I don't have your names registered. So please write your name. I am Fulanito. I am Menganito. No, I am your dear student, right? O sea, pónganme ahí quién es porque si no me quedo un poco eh, cortando varas y tengo que buscarlo y a veces no lo encuentro, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Después me dicen, pero yo le dije, teacher, sí, pero no me dijo su nombre, ¿ok? Entonces los voy a poner de varios y luego voy a ir haciendo los cambios. Vamos a ver. Let's go, everybody. Let's join your room. Hello, Norma. Are you able to participate tonight? Norma? Eh, creo que Norma, si no, 
Yeah, she's like a that. listener because she said that she was at work, right? All right, I will send you to another uh, room, Pablo, all right? Okay. Okay, allow me to do it this way. Hello, Miss. Hi, Emerson. Are are you alone here? I see Karen maybe uh is a listener tonight, right? Emerson? Hello, Miss. Hi, Emerson. You were alone. Uh, I, I mean, you were alone in that room too, right? Uh, okay. I will, maybe I will assign you to another one. I have these. Uh, can you listen to me? Can you hear me? Can you? Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, it's my uh, All right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. 
All right, no problem. Um, yeah, de veras que ya es un trauma, ¿verdad? Ay, sí. He tenido problemas con el audio desde el principio de la, de la sesión. Verdad, ok. Right. I have you an Imelda over here. Imelda. Imelda, are you available? Yo creo que estaba trabajando todavía. Sí, yo creo que envió mensajes. She said that she was at work. But, um, sí. Okay, I am, I, I'm going to call them back, all right? Because okay. we want to continue with the other activity, okay? Okay, Miss. No problem. Thank you. Okay, let's start back. Um, let's go back to um, to the thing of the conversation, right? There were some of you that couldn't complete the activity because of the sign or because of the audio or you had some technical issues, right? But we want to share your discussion. So, what were your answers? What do you think about the two statements you've got there? Okay, about the job position she can apply or the um, a, the education that you think she has. All right. A ver, de los que están, de los que sí pudieron terminar la actividad y que sí pudieron discutir. A ver, ¿quién me comparte? Porque no todos pudieron terminar. Hubo bastantes problemas técnicos. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Quiénes sí lo pudieron realizar? Mi teacher approved. Ok, please, share with us. Yeah. What kind of education does Blanca have? Blanca have a diploma, a BBA. Great. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh -huh. And what is a BBA? In the second? No, what is a BBA? Eh, eso le iba a preguntar. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ahí it's me agarro. A bachelor. Me, me escuchó. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Hey, guys, I sent a video about the education in the United ah, States. You got it? Do you remember yeah. that video? Uh, so, uh, American people, they love to short everything, okay? To make everything more, short. More and, the business. Business. Uh, yes. Business administration. Bachelor, yeah. Bachelor of Business Administration. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Bachelor. Okay. Bachelor es la licenciatura de nosotros. Okay. okay. A eso okay. correspondería. Mm -hmm. Okay, bachelor. thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, business Administration. All right. Okay. And number two, the second question. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, Irma. Mm -hmm. What other type of, or job could Blanca have in the company? Explain. Mm -hmm. Number one, production manager. Uh, number two, general manager. Yeah, so general manager because she has a degree, right? She has a degree in business administration, so she's able to do it, right? She can, okay. she can manage. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Um, um, if it if it goes well, you want a general manager? Yes, you can get it. Yeah, you will. You would get. Yeah, you would okay. get the new job position, or you okay. mm -hmm, you can be promoted, or you would be yeah. promoted, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There Thank you go. You. Mm -hmm. All right, people. Is there any other who wants to share uh, the conclusion you get? A ver, quién más si pudo terminar. Vamos a ver. Si pudieron, no se hagan. Ah, porque los demás tuvieron problemas. Ah, pues no va a creer que yo también tuve problemas. <laughs> All right, please. Please share. The first question. What kind of education does Blanca have? What kind? Uh -huh. Blanca has a BBA diploma. Good. Mm -hmm. What what other type of job could Blanca have in the company? Blanca uh, could be a general manager or production manager. Very good. Very good. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And she worked in a factory, right? Because it was Molsa. Yeah, so she could mm, uh, be doing an operational job position or an administrative job position too, right? Yeah, it, it, she can do both. She can do both, right? All right. Nice. Now let's, um, bien, miren, acerca de las time expressions que usamos para el tiempo pasado y todo esto para poder contestar las preguntas, vamos a practicar un poquito, ok, yo les voy a dar un link y vamos a ir a hacer esta, este ejercicio, ok, este ejercicio, eh, fíjense, lo que quiero que se fijen es las time expressions y el verbo, el tiempo verbal consignado en la oración. Eh, ¿Cuáles son las time expressions que generalmente se usan en el past simple tense y cuáles son las time expressions que usamos en el present perfect? Y la connotación o el significado, el sentido que tiene esa oración, ¿ok? Entonces, let me check out there. Okay. Entonces, vamos a ir ahí. Quiero que veamos for, since, and ago. Puede ser que encuentren until y puede ser que encuentren también otras expresiones de tiempo. Okay. I want you to see them and try to make sense. All right. No les, no lo entra. Quiero ver. No. No me lo da como link. A ver, hoy sí. Tiene que dármelo como un link. Copy link, copy link, copy link. Ojalá que sí lo tire como link. ¡Eh, hey, yes! There it is. Tiró uno como link y uno sí, que no es link, que no lo dio como link. Ok. 
Ok, esto es para que aprendamos a contestar when, ok. When did you, when have you, ok. When did you and when have you. Okay, if you want, we can read each question. All right. We have been working for since or ago, eight o'clock this morning. What do you think? Probemos las todas. We have been working for eight hours o'clock this morning. Mm, sounds good. Doesn't make sense, right? We have been working since eight o'clock this morning. What do you think? Or we have been working ago, eight o'clock this morning. What is ago, correct? Ago. Ago or since or for? I think for. For, for significa por, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. O sea que es un tiempo, eh, hemos estado trabajando por ocho en punto de la mañana. No tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Since. 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 O sea que es un punto de partida o de inicio, ah. ¿verdad? Since. Desde, right? Since. All right. Question number two. It says they played football mm -hmm, three hours yesterday afternoon. Four. 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 All right. Good. Everybody agrees? Yes. Yes, miss. Okay. Question number three. What do you think? Four. Bye. El Ajá, pero el que me diga la respuesta, léame completa la oración. Neil has been sleeping for hours. All right. Next one. Go. Read the complete sentence, please. I learned to drive 15 years ago. Great. Mm -hmm. And question number five. The children have been studying since this morning. Great. Mm -hmm. Question number six. My parents went to New York City two years ago. Great. Ago, right? It's specific. Two years ago. I say, right? There you go. Uh, question number seven. I have been tired since last week. All right. Mm -hmm. Number eight. She always, she always does on the phone for hours with her sister. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. So if you see four is not exclusive of the past simple tense or the other past participle tense, right? Huh? Question number nine. We have been attending the annual conference every year, every year since 2005. Great. Mm -hmm. Question number 10. Four. He has taught English at the academy for eight years now. Great, there you go. So please, everybody, where it says solve, right? Submit, a ver, dice submit en el de ustedes, o dice enviar? Como dice en el de ustedes? Submit, solve, All right. 100%. Great. <laughs> okay, can you please um, take the screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group? I just want to see that you did it, okay? The answers? Yes. Okay. 
the answers. Mm -hmm. Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, no me pude incorporar a eso, a ese ejercicio. Eh, pero le presionó en el link. ¿Sí le apareció el sí, link? Sí, hasta ahorita sí, ya me, ya me descargó. Okay. Pero todo el proceso que ustedes hicieron no lo, no lo seguí. Ah, vaya. En, eh, entonces, si gusta, me lo envía despuesito, ya cuando tenga su chancecito de irlo pensando. Va. Ok. 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 Igual yo, teacher. Igualmente Ish. yo, teacher. Ok, um. pero envíen el screenshot al WhatsApp cuando lo logren hacer, ¿ok? Y cualquier cosa, ustedes pueden poner pregunta en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp y todos sus compañeritos van a estar dispuestos a decirles, no hombre, no era así, era así, ¿verdad? o esto, por esto, para, para que podamos practicar, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Teacher, thank you. Ok, there you go. Teacher, disculpe, a mí no me cargó el link. ¿No le cargó? No, no, no me cayó. Ah, eh, vamos a ver, yo siempre tengo este... este problema, digamos, ya cuando he enviado algo, regresa, ah, aquí está, ya tengo, copy link, no hay ningún problema, entonces voy a, permítanme, se lo voy a enviar por el WhatsApp, ok, porque a veces desde Zoom no, no agarra a algunos, ¿verdad? Hoy, hoy sí ya me cayó, Tiche, gracias. Ok, ok. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces. Por acá tenemos otro, otro ejercicio, algo similar. We have another exercise. Yeah, it's a similar exercise. This is just to understand the usage of time expressions. This is to answer the question, when did you or uh, when have you, right? So allow me to go there for sharing this one. Okay. This one is easy. This one is easy, but you have to be careful. Okay, just watch out if it is a finished action or if it is an action that remains to the present. All right, so let's go and check this out. Hey, where are you guys? Here you are. <laughs> Sorry. All right, there you go. No sé si lo agarro como link. Sí, ¿verdad? Entró como link. A ver. Mm -hmm. Please scroll down and there you are going to find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight um, statements, all right? And you see, Alec, lived in Canada. Okay, let's look at the information over there. It says 1992, and we have another year, right? 2000. Go to the options box, okay? The selection box, and then you can select the best answer, okay? Ahí tenemos until, Tenemos from to y tenemos since, okay? Until. From. Mm -hmm. From 1992 to 2000.
How's it going? What number are you in? Are you in number four? Amor. Okay, are you done? Please send the screenshot. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want we to do it together? Just to check out. Number one, number one says, Alec lived in Canada. On the, uh -huh. from on the 1992, 2000. To 2000, to 2000, all right? You have to double those two. <laughs> Okay, Alec lived in Canada and and number two. Alec lived in Canada until two thousand. Okay, number three. Who wants to read it? Alec has lived life in England since two thousand. Very good. Has lived. All right. Has lived. Number four. Least living in the spine until 2000. Very good. Number five. Least has lived in Germany since 2000. Since. Uh -huh. Since. since. Uh -huh. okay. All right. Number six. Least living in Spain from uh, 90. 92 to 2000. Okay, I guess 1992. 19, I see. Yeah, all right. Number seven. Okay, see. Number seven. Mr. was a sailor man until 2000. Very good. Number eight. Mr. Worker. Mr. Walker has a worker okay. work in the restaurant since 2000. Since. Since. 
sense. Ajá. Es que ahí tendemos nosotros como es una letra I, ¿verdad? Y uh -huh. la siguiente es una E. Normalmente cuando en una palabra hay dos vocales, como en este caso, ¿verdad? Eh, siempre la segunda eh, no se pronuncia y se pronuncia solo la primera, pero con el sonido largo, ¿verdad? Y, perdón, sí, podríamos decir long sound. En este caso no cumple la regla de esta palabra, por eso a nosotros se nos dificulta, porque esta es una excepción, es sense, no es science, porque science ya sería ciencia, ¿verdad? Entonces okay. aquí sería sense, sense. Ok, is there any questions so far about this, um, this uh, exercise? Okay, then I just want to take a little time to explain something, okay? Because the simple past is used when the action is finished. Started and finished in the past. Past is past, okay? It doesn't continue. But the present perfect has the past part, And it remains to the present or to our days, okay? So this is the difference between the simple past and the present perfect. But for both, we use time expressions in the past, okay? We use time expressions, expressions in the past. Usually for the simple past, we use definite or a specific time expression, okay? But for example, if we say since no es defin definitivo, ¿verdad? Es desde, and it gives the idea that it continues, okay? Entonces, es porque el mismo tiempo verbal lo está exigiendo así, ¿verdad? Para eso se usa. El presente perfecto, ustedes lo van a ver, que lo vamos a usar, para, por ejemplo, queremos decir que nosotros todavía estamos trabajando en una empresa, ¿verdad? Desde tal año. Entonces, I have been working, have been working in my company since 2000. Okay? So, since no corta. Pero until, until, esa es una muy definitiva, ¿verdad? Es una muy definitiva. ¿Por qué? Porque da un punto final a la acción, ¿verdad? Entonces, si se fijan, hemos usado el until casi que en las de pasado simple, ¿verdad? Uh, for example, I could say, Emerson lived in Spain until 2000, okay? So, mm, this is the main difference, okay? Bien, entonces, ahorita tomémonos un tiempo y vamos a agarrar, do, voy a decir un nombre de uno de ustedes que va a ser el primero que yo digo, interviewer, okay? Y el segundo que digo es the candidate. Entonces, vamos a sustituir nuestra propia información en la eh, conversación que acabamos de practicar, ¿ok? En la conversación que tenemos en el manual, ahí vamos a sustituir. Es decir, si yo digo, por ejemplo, Luis, y después digo Wendy Marisela, entonces ustedes, Luis va a ser el interviewer, y Marisela va a ser la entrevistada o la candidata, ¿verdad? Al trabajo. Entonces, voy a ponerla, la, el slide, pero es para que ustedes lo contesten con su propia información, with your own information, all right? Con los datos que son sensibles, como por ejemplo el número de DUI o el número del Social Security, let's make it up, okay? Inventémoslo. ¿Sí se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Ya, yeah, teacher. Va. Yes, yeah, miss. Ok. So now, here we go. 
I will say, Jose Alexander and can't see any other. Jose Alexander and Mauricio. Okay. Pregunta, Alexander. Okay. Uh, what is your social security number? Is 00601017. When were you born? I was born uh, on March 22, 22. 22nd. Ah, 22nd, okay. Where did you work? I work uh, in Jongwang, El Salvador. What did you do there? I was. Manager production. Production manager. Production manager, perdón. When did you work there? Uh, from the, the 2001 to uh, a <coughs> 20. Oh, 23. Okay, 2023, 2023. Yeah. Okay. Do you have, do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a industrial engineer, industrial engineer. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yeah. Casualmente, I have hyper <laughs> hypertension. All right, all right. But are you in control? Yeah. Okay, medical control, great. Okay, then. It is regulated. That, that's what we say, right? It, it, is it regulated? Are you regulated? All right, then. Very good. Very good conversation. This was a very good exercise. Okay, now I will say two of you, okay? And then we are going to pass to see the forms. Okay, there, there we go. Jose Bernardo, and I don't know if Tacy is available. No, right. Tacy, are you there? Ah, but I see Cla Carlos Vladimir. Okay, there you go. Okay. Uh, what is your social security number? Is O two five five six O eight five five three one two. When were you born? I was born on November twelfth. Where did you work? I worked in Hotel Holiday Inn. What did you do there? I was the chief maintenance. Uh, when did you do? When did you work there? Uh, from 2011 to 2021. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have electrical engineer. engineer. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have uh, uric acid in my blood. Acid urico. Yeah, yes. Oh, that's a really good conversation, right? It was a very good interview. All right, people. So now we are going just to see the, the, the next page, okay? The next page in our manuals, and you are going to find a job application. And this was the main objective okay because we want to con sing uh, or to input the information they are asking for okay then 
we know how to state the date, right? We know that for the, uh, the numbers we use uh, for the dates, they are ordinal numbers. Even though in a job application, that's not, not really important, right? But what thing is important in a job application? What things are important in a job application? Maybe there is one thing, maybe there are more things. What do you think it is important and indispensable? Uh -huh. ¿Qué cosas sí son muy importantes? What things are really important to answer? O le podríamos poner eh, doesn't apply, like no applies, like N, pleca, and A, slash, 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 pleca. Okay, slash. Uh huh. One of the most important things, yes, your phone, your contact information, right? Your contact information, it has to be updated. I mean, you are not going to uh, use a number that doesn't work, okay? You are going to use the number they can contact you, right? If you don't do that, then you are going to miss this opportunity, right? You would be missing this opportunity. All right, your complete name or your full name, right? Your full name, it's important too. Maybe sometimes in a job application, they say, for example, what's your name? Uh, then you write over there like, oh, it's almost 10, guys. It's almost 10. Okay, like here. We write our names like this, right? Ah, como a mí no me gusta el, el middle name, right? I will write Carmen, I am. Is it correct to write my name that way? No, right, okay, I have to write my full name as it is in my ID. Okay, and my ID document, all right. Okay, then if you ask, for example, the address, the address. Mm -hmm. How do we ask this? What is your street address, right? What is your street address? All right. If we don't write our mm, current address, maybe they are not going to be able to mail things because this address could be a mailing address, okay? It could be a mailing address, like um, if you have to send texts, for example, is there anyone trying to say something? Only two minutes, only two minutes, okay? Then street address, uh -huh. street address, could be Maple Street, Maple Street, uh, two, three, three, four, okay? And then I have to say the CT, I have to be specific how they can find me, okay? What about the phone number? What number am I going to input? Over here, what phone number? The contact phone number, okay? In American uh, English, obviously we have to use an error code, right? It goes in uh, between the parentheses, then you write 503, yes. Uh -huh. If it is a multinational or a transnational a company that you are applying, <laughs> for a, a job position over there, maybe you will need this, okay? So you have to put it like that, okay? And then you write your number, right? Seven, eight, three, four, and then whatever you wanna say, right? Hmm. Uh, this, in the United States, My. in some states, it's illegal, okay? In algunos estados es ilegal que le pregunten si es male or female. Ahora, okay, eso ha cambiado. 
Ahora sí, aquí en nuestro país eso es normal y es parte. No sé si ha habido alguna modificación o algo en esos términos, pero aquí en El Salvador yo todas las aplicaciones que he visto, las he visto que pone uno gender, ¿ok? Entonces, instead of sex, we say gender, gender, ¿ok? This word, we say gender, like this. All right? Esta palabra sería esta. Yeah. Gender. Okay. Date of birth. Date of birth is when and where you were born. So, the month. Mm -hmm, the, that's correct. Month is at the beginning, right? Then we write, uh, you said one date and I don't remember. March sería the third, right? Uh, the third month. And then the date right here will be, I don't know, 15, the 15th, and the year. That's important because that's how they calculate your age, okay? That's how they calculate your age. 1978, for example. Hey, guys, where do you go, box 1978? There you go. So we are filling this form out of... The, uh, out of with the information we can provide, all right? Do you have a driver's license? Then if you say yes, usually it has uh, that you have to write your number. Then this is the main point, all right? Employment, employment history, that's your work experience, education, that's your qualifications, okay? Education is part of your qualifications. Work experience is part of your qualifications. Okay, we will continue in the next class. Okay, we will continue in the next class. Bye. Entonces, para el día de mañana, sería el día viernes ya, vamos a tener ya solamente la pura práctica, ¿verdad? Entonces, quiere decir que vamos a hacer lo que hicimos hoy de último pero con su información, ¿ok? Uno va a ser el interviewer y el otro va a ser el eh, aplicante, ¿verdad? O el um, job applicant. Entonces, eh, lo vamos a hacer el día de mañana. Traigan listo, básense en la información que hemos visto. Work qualifications and uh, education, work experience, To answer those questions, we have to use simple present y todo, ¿verdad? Lo que hemos visto, el simple past y el present perfect. Y el can, el can't, time expressions, would be, could be, and so on. From, to, until, since. All right. Is there any questions so far? Are we done yet? Yes, yes, we are done. Okay, then. Please, everybody, turn your camera on and say present when you hear your name please i'm going to go really quick okay carlos vladimir rodriguez diaz present teacher cecilia yasmin mengibar soto claudia maria guerrero mejia present darío antonio alvarenga gómez present teacher daisy elizabeth Tresinos Álvarez. eduardo franco núñez emerson ulises monroy calix Present, Miss. Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present, teacher. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, José Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Solo quiero confirmar, Eduardo Franco Núñez estaba. José Gerardo Rivera Ochoa, set present, right? And Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Present. Okay. Um, Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Marian Escarlet Rodríguez Luna. Present teacher. Marina Yancy Sandoval Bonilla. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arre. 
All right, thank you very much, Norma. Eh, Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. All right, people. No, no. I have some other over here. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. I'm sorry. Present, Miss. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. teacher. Teacher no me llamó. Sandra? No la llamé, no. Sandra. No. Sandra. Ok, vamos a buscarla. Vamos a buscarla. A ver, Sandra, Sandra. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. You are yes. right. I didn't call you. All right. I apologize. All right, people. Then remember to do your homework. Tomorrow we are going to try to see the homeworks in the platform. But please do your homework. So uh, tonight the time. Uh, the turn was <laughs> for uh, Darío, right? Okay, people, have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Do your homework and go to sleep, all right? Don't go to watch Netflix. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. See you. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah, delicious kiss. Yes, there you are. So cute. All right. Bye bye. Have a very good night. Hello, Dario. Here we are. How can I assist you today? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi. Tell me. This is uh -huh. your time. You have 10 minutes to do any comments or I don't know if you have questions or you want to practice something. Um, I think uh, what I need to practice very much. I, I have a problem um, when I hear another, another person or people speaking, I have a uh, difficult for uh, understand. All right. So um, in the listening. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I read mm -hmm. perfect, perfect. Oh, great. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. um, however, uh, when I listening, um, is uh, there the, the another another people must uh, speak slowly mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For, for me um I understand okay okay it's my difficult all right just allow me to tell you something um it's very mm, interesting the way that uh don't learn any other language because when you or, or they or I mean, I'll go back, all right. When you learned your mother language, you didn't read, you didn't write first. You just listened to your people around with this, with this language, right? Yeah. That, that's the way that you learn Spanish. You learn this, uh, I mean, Spanish language. And usually, I mean, because of the, uh, let's blame the system, okay? Let's blame the system that we are taught another language and we start by learning the letters, for example. We don't need to know the letters to start speaking, okay? To start speaking. To start speaking, you just need to listen and imitate listen and imitate. So my, my main tip here is that if you want to improve your listening, is that when you hear someone or something that you are interested in and you need to understand, first, instead of translating in your mind or instead of trying to see it written, 
you have to imitate without your eyes, all right? Just listening and imitating, okay? That right. will help you to improve the listening, okay? Because sometimes we think that we need to read first. No, we don't. When you were a baby, you didn't know how to read. No. You just listen and listen and listen. That's the way to learn, all right? So you are in the wood way. I mean, you are on the way of understanding or of learning because you have detected that you have that failing or failure in your learning process, right? So you mm, have to listen, but not only listen to the people that are talking to you, imitate, imitate. That's the way that you are going to learn. For example, when you were just a kid and your mama told you, for example, don't touch, okay? Or in Spanish, they said, no se toca. Okay, yeah. then you didn't know what thing was that. Okay, and you went and talked. Okay, why? Because you didn't understand. You didn't know what what was going to happen. You have to do this. All right, no se toca. Repeat, no se toca. Esa es la manera en que el niño sí lo va a entender. Okay, yeah. hasta que lo dice. No se toca. O por ejemplo. For example, they say, this is water, water. En español, ¿verdad? Le dice la uh, mamá, agua. El niño no sabe qué es agua. The baby doesn't know what water is. But viene la mamá y le dice, water, y la toma, ¿sí? Viene el niño y entiende que water, hay una acción también relacionada con esa palabra. Y así se va formando la familia de palabras. Agua, quiero, teme, ¿verdad? Y oh. así se van formando <coughs> oraciones, acciones y todo. Lo mismo debemos hacer en inglés, ¿verdad? Para que nosotros podamos, porque ya llevamos la parte al revés, ¿verdad? Ya sabemos las letras, ya sabemos leerlo, ya sabemos escribirlo, pero eso nos exige, el cerebro nos exige que cuando usted oye algo que no entendió, ¿Quiere verlo? A ver, no, es que tengo que verlo porque si no, no lo entiendo. Ok, cerremos los ojos y hay que oírlo y decirlo, oírlo y decirlo. Aunque yo no lo diga bien porque un bebé no lo dice bien. Agua, aba. Okay. Uh -huh. Deme agua, mame agua. <ríe> o sea, no, no, no lo vamos a decir bien a la primera y nosotros tendemos a que nos da pena, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay que quitar la pena, oír, imitar, oír, imitar. Ese es el ejercicio que usted debe hacer, digamos, usted está oyendo música, cántela aunque no le pegue, ¿ok? Está oyendo o viendo una película, trate de verla sin subtítulos, porque ya su cerebro está acostumbrado y, y con subtítulos le entiende, me imagino, toda. Sí, sí, sí. Subtítulos en inglés, usted, bárbaro, porque sabe leerlo, ¿ok? Ahora, hay que quitar eso para que mi cerebro se esfuerce y va a ver que va a mejorar muchísimo en poco tiempo si usted oye, imita, oye, imita, ¿ok? Porque va a llegar el momento en que usted ya va a saber que ese sonido es que le pegan a alguien, hit, right? Mm -hmm. O oh, I don't know, fist, ah, you know, uh-huh. Oh, for example, I don't know, whatever you want, money, for example, you are going to listen the intonation, porque a veces la entonación también le da significado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. La entonación le da mucho significado, a veces, no sé si se ha fijado usted, en español nos pasa, ¿qué dice uno? Pero sí, por el, la entonación, podría ser que entendí qué fue lo que dijo. Super ah, que si ah. hago tal cosa, antes que me repitan, vea. Ah. Que si tal cosa, sí, eso te estoy diciendo. Ah, vaya, pues sí, pero fue solo por la entonación. Entonces, no necesitamos a veces eh, arreglarnos con las letras, ¿verdad? Hay que cerrar los ojos, escuchar, imitar. ¿Ok? Ok. 
I think it's going to be better for you. All right. Is there any other thing that I can help you with? Mm, no. Uh, quizás, um, I think uh, I, I, I need um, vocabulary. Vocabulary? All right. Vocabulary. I need um, vocabulary. Uh, me quedo en blanco cuando de repente necesito las palabras y no, no las recuerdo. Ok. Um, yo, yo he, he hablado mucho eh, con, eh, cuando viajo así, pero hace mucho que, que, que lo abandoné, lo descuidé. Entonces, eh, la verdad es que al no practicarlo se olvida. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Entonces, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, uh, I think everybody has that problem when it's a second language. When it is a second language, I think it's more difficult for us to uh, retain, to remember. Yeah. But the words uh, still remain there. Okay. The words still remain there. But I have found mm, a kind of solution to, to that because usually we say, I need more vocabulary. For sure, I can tell you by my experience and for the experience I've got, and I've seen in other students, that you don't need more vocabulary because you read, you uh, write, okay? So it's not that you need more vocabulary, it's that yeah. you haven't exercised the listening and the, and the speaking. So if you start exercising, then it's going to come naturally. It's going to come naturally. For example, if you have a dot, about how to say something or how something is called, you have tools now easier to get. For example, any translator, maybe Google or one of those applications uh, could be useful, yeah? But there are other things that we can do. For example, you can change everything around you into English because that's the language that I am interested in learning, right? So I can change, for example, the language in my cell phone, the language in my computer. I can change the language in my TV or in any, any other device. And there you are going to see that you know the vocabulary, but you don't practice the vocabulary. So okay. if you see it written, I assure you that you know the word. You know the word, all okay. right? And if you don't know the word, you have a tool. Yeah, you have a tool where to find it. Ahora, a nosotros nos pasa algo bien interesante con el vocabulario y es importante también. Me gustaría comentarle. A veces nosotros decimos, es que fíjese que yo no tengo mucho vocabulario, pero haga un pequeño ejercicio. Así, un día. Usted va, well, usted maneja. Do you try? Sí. Okay. Then, when you get into your car, think about what you have around you in the car. For example, the wheel, I don't know, the windows, Mirror. um, mirrors, yeah. Uh, I don't know, whatever you have right there. Because you are there, you are going to know and you are going to see the object. Okay, and it's easier to remember. It's not easy when you are not there, right? When you try to, vamos a decir la palabra, invent, pero it's not invent. It's like mm, trying to find the word en un lugar alejado. Va, otro ejercicio, o sea, ese mismo ejercicio del carro, se puede hacerlo when you go to take a shower, for example. You have everything around you and you think about the name of each thing, each object, then you're gonna see that you know a lot of vocabulary, all right? Mm -hmm. You can think about the actions you do in those places. For example, if I say in the car, I drive, I uh, go forward, I go backwards, I don't know. You can say the actions that you do in your car. I drive, I stop. I horn, I mean, I, um, Go. Uh, yeah, the horn, uh-huh, um, uh -huh. I, whatever, whatever action, but yeah. you are in the place, and it's going to be easy to recall it, okay, that's an exercise that you can do, just to bring 
the vocabulary that you already know, but you didn't practice, okay? Okay. All right. I think uh, this could be helpful for you. Yeah, for me, pues, me sirve mucho su, su asesoría. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. okay. For example, when we are in the classroom, you have a lot of things around you. For example, the computer, the table, the desk, the chair, I don't know, whatever you were seeing, the lamp, uh, the lights, the roof, the room. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. you, you can say all the things and then you are going to see that you know a lot of vocabulary and you don't really need more because the places where you are, uh, you know the vocabulary. Okay, mm -hmm. that's yeah. why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then. Thank you. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, All right, uh, then. See you tomorrow if there is no other question. I see you tomorrow too. Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night. Okay. <laughs>